Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to design a clock animation slide in PowerPoint. So let's start. Add a new slide, go to view and enable the guides. Go to insert tab, shapes and select oval shape. Make the height and width as 3 inches. and align it center and middle go to shapes again select a rectangle and draw the rectangle to the the lower part of the circle select the circle and then the rectangle under format tab merge shape say subtract so i have just cut the circle into half just bring it down and press Ctrl D to create one more circle and change the color. Increase the size. Bring it down and send to back. Go to format background. You can change the background of the slide. I have taken dark blue. and you can give some effects for example i can give some glow effect for this i'm just going to select some glow effect which is blue color and go to insert tab again shapes select 10 point star you can see the small orange point just drag the point towards inside I mean inside the center and just increase the size bring it at the bottom of the our semicircle I will tell you why am I doing this one I'm going to add oval shapes that is circles at each point the each line so that I'll get the at the right distance at the right position press ctrl D and just put it one by one and then you can delete the 10 point star go to shapes and select the arc draw the arch and yeah bring like this those okay and just make sure that it covers all the circles If the circles are not in the right position, you can just adjust the circles as well. Blue color here. And this one I'm going to use some pink color.
properly if not you have to just uh, zoom in and align it properly Select both the triangle rectangles or sorry the triangles and group it and the triangle the below triangle you can remove the outline as well as shape fill as no fill bring it down Now I'm going to change the color of the circles, choose any bright colors, the arch. animation properties and you can change it to custom rotate which is maybe you can make it 70 or 75 make it counterclockwise and make it very fast and you can see the needle comes to the first one but that is not perfect position so we need to make sure that it comes to the right so I'm just going to make it 80 but still 80 is going down let's make it maybe 75 yeah this is perfect select the needle again add animation again spin so once it should come to the green now make it again maybe maybe 35 or 40 adjust the smooth start and bounce end make it very fast and play the slide goes to the first one then the green but still it is not coming to that position make it 35 you have to spend some time on this one still 35 is i believe it's not okay make it 38 maybe yeah this is good i think now again add animation spin again reduce it to maybe 35 you have to spend a quarter lot of time here so that it comes the needle to the right position.
yeah and the last animation of the needle spin Just going to give some shadow effect for this one right mouse click format picture and go to shadows and give some shadow effect you can select all the objects together and you can give the shadow effect comes to the first circle that is after previous so I have to do the similarly for all just bring it to the next yeah so you have to just bring it to the down of each animation below of animation here and this is the last one and make it after yes if you play first second third fourth and fifth and i have just copied the the map so you can just copy the map as well here and just say send it to back so let's play it option one option two three four and five so that's it from me friends hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.